So today we're gonna rank 10 of the most overpowered items in Mario of 3 Zombie. We're gonna showcase each one of them and then you guys let me know. Now this is one of the items so right tell here. tell me another item that able to do this right here. Check this out right here. I mean, come on, y'all. Okay, so let's go ahead and showcase some of these items. Now, they are not in order on this video. I'm going to go ahead and leave it to you guys. Put on the comments down below, rank them from 10 to 1, and then you guys can just compare. We also got the new Season 6 Bass Beat class setup. Check this out. The fact that we don't have to reload anymore. Oh, and by the way, this weapon tactical stance, look at this. Forgot to tell you, this thing got no recoil. And the ADS is already fast, y'all. All right, so today we got a monster video for you guys, man. We got something unique. I don't think a lot of people done videos like this, but today we're gonna be talking about 10 of the most overpowered items in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. If you guys wanna phrase it different, useful items, I'm gonna phrase it overpowered because they are powerful. Let's, let's just say powerful, overpowered, and useful items in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. So uh, anyway, also, we're going to be showcasing this weapon right here. This is the Bass B new build, the demonic called Blueprint. And um, man, the camo that we put on this actually makes this weapon looks really nice. This is the Drown Sand. Let's get into the videos. We're going to go ahead and showcase all 10 items that are really useful and powerful in Mario Fate 3 Zombies. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Which one of these do you guys rank on number 1, 2, 10? If you guys can just write them down on the comments down below, let me know number 1. So right here we got a few of the items that we're going to be showcasing. And then we're going to talk about each one of them. We also got other items that we do not have in here. Obviously, a large backpack cannot carry all 10 items that I need. So we're, not, we're going to exclude the legendary tools. And the flawless crystals. I mean, this right here are pretty much giving you need legendary tools, you need flawless crystals to pretty much pack a punch your weapon. So we're not gonna include those two, right? We're not gonna include these two, and we also not gonna include the golden armor. We already know the golden armor is extremely useful because um, you know, if you get hit, your armor reload. So that's pretty much a given. So we're just gonna exclude those three items. So we got other items that we want to go ahead and talk about. So anyway, let's Go ahead and go to the red zone so we can showcase some of these items and you guys know exactly what we're talking about. Because um, a lot of people don't think about these items this type of way. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. We'll see you guys next time in the next one. We're also going to show you guys the best Bass B class setup. This is a brand new, unique build that we got. So right now, all we got a legendary tool. Look at this build, yo. Look at this. Oh my god. Yo, there's so many zombies on me right now. This is crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and start with one of the obvious ones right here. We're going to be talking about the dead shot perk. Aiming down the side moves to enemy critical locations. Increase enemy critical damage. Basically, this thing right here is going to lock. And I'm sure you guys already know this. But we're just trying to rank some of these. Just call them items. You know what I'm saying? Some of these things that you can use on Mario of 3 Zombie. They are just overpowered. Now, I'm going to let you guys rank them on the comments. Basically, let me know from 1 to 10. What is the most useful one? What is the most overpowered one? If you guys want to rank them that way. So, right here, we're going to start with one. Again, this is the dead shot perk. All right, so right here we got a couple of zombies right here, and we're gonna test the dead shot perks as you guys already know. Look at this. This thing automatically locks into the enemy critical damage. Like without the dead shot perk, this is basically having aimbot on your weapon. Look at this. And then with the build that we got right now, because this build we don't have a stock, you know what I'm saying? So my ADS is super fast. My ADS is super fast, but. I'm trying to ignore some of you guys, you know, telling me not to focus on recoil. So we're going to make it where we have massive ADS and is still trying to find a way to actually have a pretty decent recoil. Look at this. So you're increasing the critical hit damage, meaning that even when you get probably headshot damage, you're still getting critical hit damage. Now, this right here, the dead shot perk, is one of the most useful and one of the most OP things that you can use on Modern Warfare 3 Zombie. 
especially when you're able to combine this with obviously legendary tool pocket punch level three and if your weapon is really good when it comes to ads damage accuracy recoil pretty much everything that you want on a weapon the deadshot perk is just like unstoppable all right so let's go ahead and talk about this second item that is a no-brainer and this is one that we all have focus when we first start going to the red zone if you guys you know remember the red zone when we when the game first came out and the red zone was like one of the items that was i mean one of the places that it was just like yo this place is so hard and dangerous all right this is what we're going to be talking about we're going to be talking about the decoy grenade the amount of zombies chasing me right now is insane is nobody around me so we're going to go ahead and throw a decoy grenade right there right look at this <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is so useful and overpowered just for the simple fact that now you got every zombie all together, right? So now you can do whatever you want. You can airstrike them. You can, like, have better room to actually shoot the zombies. So you can actually use this to escape, use it to complete contracts. If you're trying to complete, like, the Outlast contract, for example, is way too many zombies, you can just throw that over there. It gives you a little bit extra more time to... Uh, for the for the contract to fill up and then after that you can just take your time you can pick armor plays you can pretty much just do so much with the decoy grenade now i don't know where you want to rank the decoy grenade but <laughs> that's one of the ones that everybody used to run before i don't run it all the time anymore so uh let's go ahead and talk about the next item all right let's talk about the next item this right here the third mine i mean a lot of people don't know about the third mine. I mean, we're not going to spend too much time talking about that one. But when it comes to the third mine, this is one of the items that are almost going to guarantee you from killing the Mega Abomination, right? If you if you ever trying to kill the Mega Abomination, like, really fast, we're talking about, like, like less than a minute. As long as the Mega do the laser, if you throw the third mine to the Mega Abomination, I mean, right here, look at this. Is that? Is that? Ooh, and he dropped a weapon case. Even though we don't need this. And if you wanna go and fight Mega, when we talk about uh, the bounty, if you have a contract and you gotta kill the Mega, for example, it's not really good when it comes to the disciples, the Mangler, and the Mimic. But when it comes to the Mega Abomination, I mean, if you can put a Thermite on your inventory and have two already equipped, then all you really need to do is get the Mega to do the laser. And then after that, you just, you know, throw that on the mouth and then you pretty much destroy the Mega. I'm going to show you exactly another way that you can use the Thermine. Right, so let's say you're doing the Outlast contract or you're doing the weapon stash over there, right? So you guys already know all these zombies actually climb right there. If you throw a Thermine right there, especially if you see a dog, I mean, the amount of zombies that you can kill just by doing that. So you just throw it right there when they're about to jump. And then that's going to take some of the health away, if not kill them. And then you just finish them off with your weapon. So especially with the dog, the dog is going to die pretty much instantly with a third mine. And I'd rather use a third mine than a C4 or a regular grenade or a stick, a stick a grenade. So the third mine is actually more useful because, again, you can use it for the Mega Abomination. Right here, we're going to be talking about the Ether Blade. You guys already know the Ether Blade is one of the most overpowered items in the game. I mean... We're going to go ahead and showcase this as well in the Dark Ether. Uh, we still got a lot of items to talk about right here. So let's go ahead and talk about the Ether Blade. When it comes to the Dark Ether, uh, it don't matter if you're doing the Elder Dark Ether, if you're doing the regular Dark Ether, the Ether Blade is so useful because you're able to do this. I mean, come on. Come on, I mean, how, what? <laughs> this is one of the most overpowered items in the game. I mean, you can run Dark Ether. I, I can use the um, the Ether Blade to complete things even if I don't have a weapon. Think about that. Let's say you're doing an Outlast contract. Or let's say you're doing a weapon stash. Maybe not a bounty. Because if, if you're doing a target bounty, you got you to gotta shoot the target. You're not going to be able to kill the, the bounty with... A ether blade it's not gonna work but when it comes to doing any other contract i mean this thing is gonna kill these zombies like one hit and it's like a boomerang so you get in three four zombies sometime at a time especially if they're all together like this 
See that? That was three zombies right there. And it's going to give you time to get the zombies off you. It's going to give you time to run away. And on top of that, you're just killing zombies. The refill is pretty fast. You know, the, the, it recharged pretty fast. You see it's already back. Um, I believe it might be five seconds. But this is one of the items that are you, you definitely want to get. If you guys do not have an ether blade, man, you are definitely missing out. We definitely got to grab a contract here. So we're going to get jump right here. So let's say you don't want to go out right now. You can just throw that ether blade. See that? That ether blade literally just saved my life. Let's go ahead and talk about the next item since we just showcased the ether blade. The next one is going to be the Maka Holding. Now we got 500 and plus rounds right here. Look at this. The fact that we don't have to reload anymore. Oh, and by the way, this weapon tactical stance, look at this. Forgot to tell you, this thing got no recoil. And the ADS is already fast, y'all. Man, this weapon is so broken. Let me throw that in there. Anyway, as far as the Maka holding, man, the fact that all you reserve is pulled to your primary uh, magazine and you don't have to reload, that means you're able to just keep firing over and over. Especially when it comes to the weapons that have a small ammo capacity, a small ammo uh, magazines. This thing is very useful. But with the weapons that actually have a large magazine, I mean, this thing becomes even monster. Throw an ether blade right there. Let's go ahead and put this dead wire detonator. Now we don't have the one that I was looking for. You guys already know Brain Rot. So Brain Rot, by the way, is to me the best ammo mod. This one that we just equip on this one is the second best ammo mod because this one is really good when it comes to the disciples. If you guys ever want to take down a disciple, especially when we're talking about, you know, the bounty target disciple. Uh, the dead wire is going to be the one that is, is just going to be so OP. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be OP. So that's one of the ones that you guys definitely want to definitely wanna use. But the brain rod, the fact that it gives you that extra companion, I mean, that's just amazing. But anyway, that's it for when we're talking about the micro holding. I mean, we don't have to reload. What else can we say about this thing, man? about the next item right here we're gonna be talking about the Casimir uh, so let's go ahead and showcase the LT 53 Casimirs which is what I like to call it and we got a gang of freaking zombies coming this way right now we might have to get out of here we might have to get out of here all right look at this look at this squad right here so tell me another item that able to do this right here check this out right here I mean come on y'all that is definitely one of the most overpowered items in the game right now. I don't know where you guys want to rank this thing. Look, we got more zombies coming after me right here. Oh my god. That's what the Casimir does. It is a black hole vortex. You know what I'm saying? That thing is absolutely broken. It's insane. If you're able to get that item over and over, you know what I'm saying? If you're able to get that item, trust me, you are pretty much like, you can, if you if you guys ever want to complete a Dark Ether easy, and you take one of the Casimir's on it, I would recommend taking four or six. You pretty much are set to actually complete the Dark Ether. There is no question. I'm going to talk about this guy right here. I don't know where you guys want to rank this guy. I don't know where we're gonna rank that guy right there. Let me let me get his name first. Depending on his name, Mike. Oh my God, it's my friend's name. I, I, I don't I don't know what Mike is gonna is gonna do right here. Mike, 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 stop running, bro. Hold on, did he just? <laughs> did he just? Did he just throw a C4? Oh my God. Get off me. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Get it, Mike. <laughs> okay. What do you guys rank the mercenary? What, what do you guys rank this dude? Because the one thing with him is that he don't have the Deadshot perk. 
Look at that. He's not, he doesn't kill the zombies fast enough. He does not kill the zombies fast enough. So I have a problem when it comes to the mercenary because he is not as quick as the dog or which by the way we don't have with me right now because it's in cooldown and we're talking about the disciple companion. Disciple companion has to be one of the top of the list. I wouldn't say number one, but it's up there when it comes to overpower. But you guys already know about the disciple companion is really broken so we're not even going to include that one in here especially since we didn't have that many room in here and it was uh it was on lockdown go ahead and talk about the next item right here let's talk about the grenade on the right corner the fact that you can throw this down and you don't have to buy another one see so what i'm saying this thing is already refilling so when it comes to having the casimir's uh maybe you can have uh the grenade the thermine i mean pretty much any of that stuff oh my god let me go ahead and take care of this mega right here but now look the casimir is already refilling now that's one of the slowest one the casimir because he's so overpowered is one of the slowest one when it comes to refilling but the fact that we have this you know what i'm saying this thing and you don't even have to buy another one I mean, that has to be one of the most useful things to actually um, to actually have in here. It's already almost refilled, y'all. Now, I'm going to show you guys other items that refill really fast. As soon as this one refill, hold on. So, let's go ahead and put this in here. I mean, how crazy is that? Even this thing refills, y'all. Even this thing refills. Anything that is equipped right there is going to refill. It refills really fast. We're going to get to the next item right here. Look at this. The dead wire detonator. This is how this item is going to be useful. All right. So now you throw this, this gas grenade, right? And you're able to kill all these zombies all at once. That thing now is refilling. If you look at the right bottom corner, that thing is already refilling. So if you are not even close to something like this, where you can just refill it, look how fast it's already going up. So if you got the thermine uh, for the Mega Abomination, or if you're using the Molotov, or you're doing something and you have a lot of zombies on you, and you got the dead wire detonator, if you have a gas grenade, or you have a Molotov, I mean, you can just throw that and you're going to be able to kill so many so many zombies at once. You know what I'm saying? It means it's so useful, it's so overpowered. Throw this. And let's throw that. Nice, we're feeling. Let's go. I mean, come on, come on. Like, come on, this thing is just insane. But let's go ahead and talk about the next item since we're already here, especially since we are by the bus station. And this is one of the items that's one of my favorites. And if you guys didn't know, we're gonna be talking about this right here. This sentry gun, y'all. Let's go ahead and get to this mangler. Drop this sentry gun right here. So if you're completing anything, any bounty if you're completing any um uh contract anything like that this thing is gonna do so much damage this guy's already almost dead like i didn't do most of that look at this for well, sure even even this guy shooting at this guy oh he dead what i said uh, the ether blade. We talk about the brain rot, even though we didn't have it. We we talk about the uh, uh, dead wire detonator, the grenade that's gonna refill your lethals and your tacticals. Um, we didn't talk about obviously legendary tools and flawless crystals and things like that because we already know about that, especially the golden armor. Um, so this is the one we're gonna talk about. All right, let's go ahead and activate this right here. All right, we're doing the Elder Dark Ether, especially since 
You know, some somebody in the comments say I don't do the Elder Dark Ether, like bro. No one's afraid to do the Elder Dark Ether. We just don't do it because I don't really need anything in here. I really don't. So now, and on top of that, we don't even have the Scorcher. Think about that. We're doing the Elder Dark Ether without the Scorcher. I'm going to throw this right here. Oh my God, I fell down. And we got this activated. This is the next item right here. We're going to talk about the dog. So I'm not sure if the mercenary is already gone, but the dog, man, he, he just a beast as well. Besides, you know, the, oh my goodness. come on, come on. This is what the dog is going to do. And I did this on purpose for a reason, y'all. Look at this. I mean, I think the dog is the only one that will teleport and pick you up right away. I mean, there has not been another one that would do something like that. We almost got this one. And we got it. Now we're going to throw the next one. We're going to throw this one down just in case, just for cover. All right, what do we got? Oh, we got golden armor. We're not going to use that. Well, I mean, that's, that's pretty much... All the items right there, y'all. That's pretty much all the items right there. Let me know in the comments down below which one is the most useful one, which one is the most overpowered one. Uh, you got Casimir. You got the uh, another golden armor, but you got the Ether Blade. You got the Dead Wire Detonator. You got the grenade that's gonna refill your lethals and your tacticals. And you got this item right here. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Put the center gun down right here. Now that thing is going to be not just a decoy, boy, cover. Especially if you have two center guns. If you have two center guns, you can put one on um, on both sides. And this one is done. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got brain rod. Another golden armor. Let's go. So we got the Dead Shot perk, we got the Casimir LT-53, we got the Ether Blade, we got the Brain Rod, as you guys can see we have it equipped right now. Um, we got the Sentry Gun, we got the Thermine that we can use for the Mega Abomination, you got the Dead Wire Detonator, we got the Grenade that is pretty much going to refill all your lethals and your tacticals. So as far as all those items, man, let me know in the comments down below which one is the most overpowered one, which one is the best one. Uh, obviously, like I said earlier in the video, we excluded the golden armor, we excluded the legendary tools and the pack of punch level three crystals. The um, a blueprint that you're gonna be using for this weapon. Obviously, we got this camo right here. Let's go to the sand. So this this one right here, drowned sands i mean this thing looks amazing with the fire y'all look at that look at the back of the weapon i mean come on man blow fire tracer blow fire this member ring i mean this thing is crazy so as far as this weapon this is the class that we got first things first the non-stock attachment this thing right here look at this ads movement speed plus 10 movement speed plus 9 Crash movement speed plus 19. We don't really care for that, but sprint to fire speed and tactical speed to speed. And then ADS speed, you got minus 13, and then sprint to fire speed is minus 19. On top of that, you got tactical stance, and then you got hip fire spread max. I mean, this attachment right here on this weapon is crazy. And then we got 45 round mag. Paracord grip, y'all. Look at this. Sprint to fire speed minus 17. You get more movement speed. ADS movement speed and then on top of that you still get your horizontal recoil control I'm trying to tell y'all you still want to have recoil control y'all this one still give me that recoil control horizontal recoil control vertical recoil control so this this is your ADS I mean you're not really losing that much right here because you already got three other attachments look at that come on y'all come on y'all but anyway this is the build right here man it's insane look at this 
thing got no recoil. Tag stains. Look at the tag stains, yo. And once you put the micro holding on this thing, if you're playing zombies, if you're on Warzone, man, this thing's still good on Warzone. Look at that. 45 rounds in Warzone still legit. ADS, look at this. Spring to fire. Come on, man. Come on, y'all. Oh, my God.